Okay. Names only. Kevin Johnson. Marley. Barkley, first shot of the game. Barkley. Number 34, Charles Barkley. Owens Weber. Weber. Five to two. KJ. Freewell guarding Kevin Johnson. Marley. Mullen guarding Marley. Golden State ball. Houston into Billy Owens. Freewell for three. A three for the first Freewell. Golden State lays it five to two. Marley all the way. No, rebound Mullen. A four on two behind the back to Houston. Seven two Golden State. Have scored all four Phoenix points. Mullen to Weber. It's nine to four, Golden State. Again, a whistle. No basket. Number 21, Byron Houston, first personal. Houston called for his game. first foul. Marley will inbound it for Phoenix. Back to Barkley. Fadeaway jumper off the glass over Houston. Barkley has all six Phoenix points. Nine to six. Looks like that quarter he wants to dominate, huh? Yeah. Gonna go right. There's a steal by Charles. Barkley trying to beat Owens down the court. And he got fouled. Looks like Charles wants to play. Second team foul called against Billy Owens. Golden State. Are we coming here right after uh, as soon as this game's over? They got work they have to do. The 34, Charles Barkley to the line. Two shots. Barkley at the line. He's averaging 28 points a game in this series. He has scored all six points for Phoenix. No way. And New Jersey wins by one. For Phoenix, scored by Charles Barkley. Sprewell got away from Kevin Johnson. He's hit for five in his first quarter. 11 8, Golden State. The double team on Kevin Johnson and a foul will be called here on Chris Weber. His first team's third. Water. Water. Else. Water. Oh. 
Owens. Yeah, great. 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 Rebound Weber. After the miss by Sabellos. Weber, Billy Owens. Hi, everybody. Pete Van Weer and Doug Collins welcoming you to the Oakland Coliseum Arena. We're in the early going. The Golden State Warriors in a survival mode tonight, leading the Phoenix Suns 13 to 8 with 8.26 to go in this opening quarter. It's not a very popular call with Paul Westfall. They're going to call it on Mark West. A little elbow foul here, Pete. Looked like he got fouled. But he threw his elbow out there at the moment, at the, at the last moment to get the foul. But uh, Barkley off to a great start here with eight points. He has all. All eight Phoenix points. Yes. Springwell's been shooting well. He's taken three shots and hit all three of them. One of them a three-pointer. Which he has seven, 15 to eight. Which Golden is, State leading. I'm sorry, Pete, which is a great sign right now for the Golden State Warriors because he had really struggled 16 of 44 in the first two games. And this time he's going to be called from a foul from behind his first. Here's some of the early baskets that you missed while you were still watching New Jersey, New York. We well, see the great behind the back pass by Chris Weber to Byron Houston and then Barkley down on the block. Remember, he has eight quick points here, so he's looking to get out and dominate this first quarter. No double team allowing Byron Houston to play him one on one. You see it here also live one on one. No double teams. And Barkley winning that battle right now. He has scored all 10 Phoenix points. 15 10 Golden State by five. Spraywell dishing off underneath to Houston. No whistle. And the ball belongs to Phoenix. And the crowd here in Oakland very upset. Gavin Johnson has had a great series the first two games. Phoenix winning those first two. KJ 38 points in the second game of that series. Took 31 shots. That was also a club record. He passed. Paul Westfall with his 31 shot attempt, but KJ, they're going to have to do something tonight. He's really hurt them with a high screen roll. You're seeing early Weber stopping and double teaming him before the play develops, trying to get him to give the basketball up. But he and Barkley have averaged 59 points and over 15 assists between them in the first two games. And the whole game plan for Phoenix in this first quarter, give it to Charles, let him work on Houston, and he is doing just that. He has all 12 Phoenix points. I think he's also five for five and two for two, so he's not missed a shot. Chris Weber in and out. And the rebound pulled away by, lost by Barkley, pulled away now by Owens, tipped away by KJ, and as Sabalos and Billy Owens battle for it, we get a whistle and a foul call. I think it's going to be very interesting tonight. When I talked to a lot of the Phoenix players before the game, they said, you know what, we watched the Denver-Seattle game the other night, and we realized that it's going to be very important for us to come, off, come out tonight and get off to a great start. We saw what happened the other night when Denver jumped all over Seattle. It's important for us tonight to sort of take this emotional surge and have a good first quarter. And Pete, they've really done a pretty good job of that right now. Savalos makes these two free throws. It's only a one-point game. Savalos, who averaged... 19 points a game during the regular season and scored only 11 points a game in this series, but there's a reason for that. When yeah. they double team Charles, that frees up Savalos and he gets a lot of points that way. They're yeah. not doubling him. Absolutely right. And, and you know what? It's interesting with Charles. I think that Charles is going to have the capability in this year's playoffs to maybe dominate two quarters. He cannot dominate for four. So it'll be interesting to see as the game wears on his energy level and then who will pick up the slack when he becomes a passer. 15-14, double team on Spreewell. He finds Chris Weber behind the back pass underneath and a whistle and a foul in the basket. Yes. Byron Houston has four and a chance for a three-point play here. 17-14, Golden State leading. Timeout with six. 56 to go in the first. The Warriors at Great Western Bank would like to thank everyone who has participated in the Warriors High School Sports Auction. This season, more than $65,000. Hey, uh, Rowan, can we come out with a, maybe the game one and game two summary just so we sort of just so we can sort of try to catch these people up? $25,000.
Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. and A's play at the stadium right next door inside the Oakland Coliseum Arena. We have 6.56 to go in the first quarter of Game 3 of the best of five series between the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors. And let's take a quick look at how we got to this third game and how Phoenix has dominated in the series, Doug. Well, you see the Game 1 recap. A couple things really jump out. Sun shot well at 52%. One of the reasons they got 28 points off 18 Warrior turnovers. Barkley, 16 points, 19. Remember, 19 rebounds, 18 and 11 in the first quarter. And then in game two, the Warriors bounce back 42-47. You see the rebound field goal attempt, 17 more for the Suns, which is really the key. And Byron Houston started in the game, and while he was on the floor, the Warriors were plus 10 when he was off with foul trouble. They were minus 17, so we'll have to watch that tonight also. Houston with five points in this first quarter. It's 18-14, Golden State. A.C. Green has checked in, replacing Mark West, who picked up his second foul. So the five on the floor now for Phoenix are Kevin Johnson. Marley, A.C. Green, Zabalos, and Barkley. Mullen, Weber, Sprewell, Houston, and Owens for Golden State. And they are really going to try to stop Kevin Johnson tonight, but not that way. That won't work. Well, you don't want to foul a jump shooter, specifically when the clock is winding down. And that'll be Byron Houston's second foul. So what you have to do now, if you're Don Nelson, you'll probably come in with Chris Gatling, who's an excellent shot blocker. That, then we'll have to wait to see if that moves Chris Weber now over to Barkley or if they'll put Gatling on Barkley. Don Nelson admitted to us this morning they really don't have a single guy on their team that can stop Kevin Johnson single-handedly. No, you've got to make a commitment. You say, okay, if we trap Kevin Johnson, that frees up three-point shooting. If we double Charles Barkley, that frees up offensive rebounding. So it's which poison do you want to accept? And what you have to hope is that if you force them to shoot some three-point shots, that they will be cold tonight. And that has not been the case in this series. They've had timely three-point shooting but between uh, Markley and uh, Bar Excuse me, between Marley and Ainge. Spreewell inside underneath the pass to Billy Owens. And Billy Owens is hit for four. Billy Owens. 2016 Golden State. You see what Chris Webber's doing? He's trapping KJ at half court. KJ's going to have to realize that and pull his dribble back. He had his head down, and Webber just coming out to meet him at half court. What just now from our uh, end zone picture here. See, here's Webber just waiting on the double team. KJ's got to pull that dribble back. He can't pick it up. Back to live action. Marley in the front court. Ten left in the shot clock. Closing in on the six-minute mark in this opening quarter. See, no double working team. on Chris Gatling now. The jumper over Gatling. I'll tell you what, Charles Barkley is about as hot as he can be in this first quarter. He's in for 14 of the 18 Phoenix points. Golden State by two. Nice move by Chris Weber. Gets him his sixth point. Chris Weber. Chris Weber is such an improved offensive player. Now he's got some moves going to the baskets and jump hooks. That time, nobody stopped Kevin Johnson. He went all the way to the hole, got the basket, drew the foul. You've got the two highest scoring teams in the NBA in this series, so expect this one to be up and down. Third foul call against Billy Owens. He's in trouble. Well, that really hurts him now. You've got Byron Houston with two. You've got Billy Owens with three. Number seven, Kevin Johnson. You got to keep KJ in front of you. I know that's easier said than done, but it's almost like you tell your player, I want you to always see his face. Because if you see his face, he's in front of you. You start seeing the back of his head, we got trouble. And that time, KJ got into the lane. It's a one point lead for Golden State. Five and a half minutes to go in this opening quarter. Avery Johnson, who has not played much in the first two games, getting ready to check in now for Golden State. Latrell Sprewell off the glass. He's hit for nine in this opening quarter. Well, they posted him that time. No double team to late, and Sprewell at 6 7 will rise right over KJ. 
Golden State by three. The feed is Sabalos along the baseline. Couldn't get that one to fall. Offensive board by A.C. Green. Stripped by Sprewell. Warriors on the run. Sprewell back to Chris Mullen. Mullen to Sprewell. Inside Billy Owens. Owens around A.C. Green, though. Gatling the offensive board and a putback. Chris Gatling gets his first two. Five-point lead for the Warriors. Our Golden State is really aggressive tonight. Really strong to the ball. Outside jumper nailed by Sabellos. He has four. 26 23. Don't blink or take a breath, Pete. This is back and forth. Mullen trying to give it back inside to Gatling. Almost didn't see it coming. Spreewell, a lot of time to look at the basket for that three. His second three, and he's in for 12. 29 23, Warriors. I don't, has he missed a shot tonight? Five for five. Now remember, he was 16 for 44 going into the game tonight. Barkley's going to try to answer with a three of his own. Has he missed a shot tonight? No, he has not. He's what, seven for seven now? Wow. This is Auburn and Alabama. 17 points for Barkley. 29-26. Gatling inside. Deep rebound by KJ. Off to Marley. Trying to beat Mullen. The put back by Barkley. Don Nelson wants an offensive interference call there. He's not going to get it. 29 28. Good. Barkley with 17 points, and we played just barely over eight minutes in this first period. Make it 19, counting those two. 19. So he had 18 and 11 in game one. He already has 19 here tonight. 340 still left in this opening quarter. Weber will get a trip to the free throw line. Barkley will be charged with a foul. Latrell Sprewell lining it up from three, and on the season, he did a nice job from the three-point line. And here's Charles lining one up also, too, so back-to-back -back threes by two of the star players in tonight's ballgame. But on the season, Sprewell made 141 out of 391 threes. The 141 was the fourth amount of makes this year by a player. Marley had 192, which was the first in the league, and set a record. Timeout has been used here by Golden State. Well, they tend to Chris Gatling and a little cut on his chin. So Byron Houston comes back in and Avery Johnson has checked in. We'll see if he's able to do anything with Kevin Johnson. He says he can, but he hasn't had much chance to prove it in this series thus far. Well, right at Chris Weber again. Illegal, illegal defense. defense, yes. Illegal defense violation. First set call. Paul Westfall. Who led his team to a 56 26 regular season record, but they didn't have a whole lot of success on the road. 20 and 21 away from Phoenix. Another three by Sprewell. He has three threes, three twos, 15 points, 32 28. Nothing like getting home to cure your shooting ills, right, Pete? Wow. But now Byron Houston has picked up his third. And that is always a problem with Byron Houston. He is so prone to get into foul trouble. And here comes Chris Gatling checking back in to replace him. Or he will at the in-between shots here by A.C. Green. He had a little cut in his chin or lip. And because of the blood, they had to take him out of the game. But he's going to come back in now if he's contended to. Green's first point of the game. Here comes Gatling in for Houston. So now you've got a combination out there for Don Nelson of Gatling, Weber, Mullen, Sprewell, and Avery Johnson. AC Green has had a terrific first two games, averaging over 12 points a game and over eight rebounds. So he's been very active. In fact, in two games, he has seven offensive rebounds. So he's been dynamite getting second and third shots for Phoenix. Phoenix nine for nine from the free throw line. The Warriors one for one. So nobody's missed from there either. I think that Avery Johnson being guarded by Sabalas. This is very interesting. They've kept KJ on Sprewell. That's an interesting matchup. I thought they'd slide KJ over to play Avery Johnson. That was not the case. Let's see if Avery Johnson can stop Kevin Johnson. Not that time. KJ got around him. Puts up the jumper. Short. Rebound. Chris Gatling. Off to Avery Johnson. Good job getting back by Green and Marley. Avery Johnson beats them both. His first two, it's 34-30, and we still have 2.40 left in the first quarter. Sort of like that New York-New Jersey game we just watched, wasn't it? <laughs> we'll catch them by two minutes into the second. <laughs> now Barkley works on Gatling. Follow away jumper over Gatling. This is incredible. 21 <laughs> points. 21 first quarter points for Barkley. A 
steal by Sir Charles. 34-32, a two-pointer ties it up for Phoenix. He's gonna shoot a three-pointer three. puts him ahead. Boom. He still hasn't missed. 24 Whoa. points for Barkley. Look at Paul Westall, the smile on his face. He said, when Charles comes to play, I feel pretty good. <laughs> I think Charles came to play tonight. 35-34, Suns. Still two Jeez. minutes to go in the first. Weber. Nobody's missing. That's Weber good. has eight. 36-35, Golden State. Can Phoenix win in a shootout at Golden State, or can Golden State score enough points? I think that's what it's going to come down to. Here goes Charles once again. Another three. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, 27 points for Charles Barkley. 38-36, Phoenix. Chris Mullen for three. <laughs> oh, forget field goal percentages here. They're just going to make them all. <laughs> The crowd tolerating defense for yeah, right. Pumps. <laughs> You're not going to see much of that tonight. AC Green. Over to Kevin. JJ gets around Weber underneath Sabalos. He wow. puts into. What an, offensive. what an offensive show this 40 is. 40 to 39, a minute to go. Record in a playoff game is by Sleepy Floyd, 29 and a quarter. And a foul is going to be called here. Are they going to call a flagrant on that too in the ball? I think so. Are you that kidding? Call. We've got a timeout with 55.7 seconds remaining. It is a flagrant foul. First of the last two minutes. Can you believe the shooting in this game? This is incredible. The record for points in the quarter by one All right, We've already had it on. 29 by Sleepy. Against the Lakers. It was the fourth quarter. He had 51 in the game. For two teams in a quarter in the playoffs, 91 between the two teams. We're at, what, 79? The Dico. Thanks. Barkley is 11 for 11. What's the first line of it? Well, I think uh, two things that happened that, that, that we can learn from. Uh, number one, last year, us against the Lakers, we realized, hey, when you got a team down, you better finish them off. We also learned something from Seattle and Denver the other night. Yeah, let's, let's go If you that. let one of these young teams play at home and get up to a good the start, they're tough to handle. Like, uh, so I think the first quarter of this game is very game important for us. Going because getting down to last year taught them anything. Yeah. What about this? Uh, what do you do? Can you believe this shooting? Brought to you by Reba, the Warrior Girls. It's a shootout in Oakland. Last year, Phoenix got down to nothing to the Lakers in round one. We asked Sir Charles before the game if they learned anything from that. Well, I think uh, two things that happened that, get, that, that we can learn from. Uh, number one, last year, us against the Lakers, we realized, hey, when you got a team down, you better finish them off. We also learned something from Seattle and Denver the other night that if you let one of these young teams play at home and get off to a good start, they're tough to handle. So I think the first quarter of this game is very important for us because they play a lot, a lot of emotion the young teams do. And if you let them get off to a good start, they're tough to beat, especially at home. Well, Charles Barkley with 27 points after the flagrant foul by Kevin Johnson before the timeout. Latrell Sprewell will go to the free throw line. Cedric Sabalos just walked over to us and said, I love this game. <laughs> How can you not? Now, Sprewell's at the line shooting the flagrant foul. Two shots for him in the ball. Now, sideline out of bounds. And Mike Mathis said that I asked him, he said, KJ pull, pulled him down from behind. He said right there, he said he just pulled him down. 
how'd you like to have 16 points in the first quarter like Sprelo does? And you're 11 points off from being the high scorer of the game so far. No kidding. I mean, this is unbelievable. The shooting. 40 to 40. Barkley's 11 for 11 in the first quarter. 27 points. And even the guys coming on off the bench are hitting their first shot. Jeff Breyer's first effort goes. It's 42-40. Frankie Johnson out in the ball game for KJ. KJ getting a little rest. Let's see if they go to Barkley once again. High screen roll. See if he steps out and shoots the three. Remember, Sleepy Floyd holds the record for most points in a playoff quarter with 29. AC Green will take this shot. It's short. Rebound Grayer. And now Golden State can play for a final shot. An unbelievable first quarter of action in game three of the best of five series. Golden State needs to win to stay alive. Phoenix trying to advance to the next round. And at this rate, we'll have over 150 points scored by both teams. Loose ball foul is going to be called with 1.6 seconds left. That's going to be a costly foul in the penalty. So Jeff Breyer with the foul against A.C. Green will allow A.C. now to go to the line and shoot two free throws. 82 points right now scored in his first quarter and I guess the playoff record is 91 and a quarter by two teams as we said the two top scoring teams in the league this is the kind of shootout you might expect although not quite this tour <laughs> well you know I talked to Charles Barkley before the game and I said it this early that uh, you know, he feels like he can dominate offensively in a couple quarters and I'm wondering if Don Nelson is just gambling that he can't keep this up the entire game and that when he does we got a tie a rest, we're going to so. tie a playoff record here most points scored by both teams in the first quarter 84 Philadelphia against San Francisco back in 1967 if Green hits this we've got an 84 point first quarter and we do well history is made Pete I knew we'd be part of it if it was made Phoenix has not missed a free throw they've hardly missed a field goal if that goes 42-42, <laughs> what an opening quarter. Charles Barkley single-handedly making sure Golden State did not get off to that first quarter start like Denver did against Seattle the other night. 27 first quarter points for Charles. Tonight we are happy to present the first playoff ticket spread. Oh Jimmy my goodness gracious. To bring some friends to Friday night's game. What? Jim has 30 seconds to sink as many layups as possible, and for each shot made, he will win one ticket to our next game. After he's finished, Jim can double the number of friends he brings by sinking a free throw. That is amazing. What was the 14 for 24 for Phoenix? 18 for 25. So 67 percent and 58 percent, right? 72. 72. They shot better from the field than they did the free throw line. Oh, was there two turnovers or how many turnovers? Two turnovers to Phoenix and four. four. That's three. Didn't you think that that flagrant foul was a little cheesy yeah, there? A little, little tacky call there. Huh? A little tacky there. Well, you know, it, it's interesting. It's like, what strategy is there here except, whoa, great shot. Wow. <laughs> and the crowd starts hollering, defense. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, right. Yeah. Jim Perry has won four tickets to Friday night's game. Congratulations. In game two, in game two, the score was 25-20, so there was 45 points scored. In game three, 84. Pete Van Weeren welcoming you back to the Oakland Coliseum Arena. You're not looking at a <laughs> error on our Chiron machine. It is 42 to 42. And Charles Barkley has just completed an unbelievable quarter. 11 for 11 from the field. Two out of two from the free throw line. 
three out of three from three-point territory. 27 points. And it's 42-42 as quarter number two begins. Oliver Miller has checked in for Phoenix. It's Miller, Barkley, Green, Danny Ainge, and Kevin Johnson. Ainge making his first appearance. He had a good outing in game two. Rayer, Mullen, Weber, Sprewell, and Avery Johnson for the Warriors. Well, in game two, the, the score at the end of the first quarter was 25-20. at 45 points scored tonight, 84. And there's Sprewell, the runner. Oh, he's back, 7-for-7 seven seven now. He's got 18 points. Avery Johnson on KJ. See, they're going to try to attack Ainge with Sprewell. So that matchup right now, just expect Danny Ainge to get a lot of it coming down the floor every time they're going to try to milk that, just like they're going to try to continue to go to Barkley against Grayer. for Charles gets it to him. He's got Grayer on him. Can he continue this? His first miss of the night gets the rebound, puts it back. Great extra effort there by Charles. Oh, just to, Charles the first shot was just to beat the clock, and then he went after it to get it back. So now 12 of 13. Tied at 44. Mullen breaks the tie. Chris Mullen's fifth point of the night. Well, one of the one of the reasons why the Warriors finished so strong is because Chris Mullen finally got his touch back, got himself back into shape, and has gone through all kind of traumatic experiences this year with the loss of his parents. So playing great basketball right now. Another miss by Charles Barkley. Gets it back. Another miss. The third time's a charm for Charles. He has 31 points in this game. We've got 10.42 to go in the half, the first half. Greer had his shot rejected. Barkley down to A.C. Green off the glass for two. And a chance for a three-point play here for A.C. Green. I tell you what, Charles Barkley is having... One of the best halves I've ever seen a player have. Absolutely. And you know what? Let me tell you something. He understands after last year how many playoff games they had to play. You see him up in the air to A.C. Green, but they were a grueling five-game series against the Lakers. Then they had a six-game series, a seven-game series, and a six-game series. So they played so many playoff games last year. They felt like that was a major, major reason why they couldn't win the championship. And now with Barkley getting up in age with his injuries, Barley logging 44 minutes a game. And with Danny Ainge getting older, right now the window of opportunity closing down a little bit on these Suns. They want to take advantage of it. Charles Sprewell gets a trip to the free throw line after committing that last foul. Danny Ainge fouls him this trip. Ainge committing his first. Again, that's the matchup they're going to go to. Don Nelson said when Ainge comes on the floor, we're going to go at him. We're going to try to attack him. And with Sprewell having such a wonderful night, they're going to continue to try to go right at that, that opportunity. Here's Latrell Sprewell. Before the All-Star break, he was shooting 45%. Since the All-Star break, 41%. In the playoffs, 36%. Tonight, he's rectified that with 7 of 7. But interestingly enough, of his 44 field goal attempts in the first two games of this series, 18 of them, or 40% of them, were from three. Tonight, not living on that three-point line, looking to get to the basket. A one-point game, 49-48 Phoenix. Down it comes to Barkley, working on Grayer. No double teams again. Charles going to wheel it in the lane. And the rebound pulled away by Gatling, almost stolen by Barkley. Sprewell's got Grayer open underneath. Long range three by Chris Mullen. That's what I talked about, the shooting of Mullen. He's back now. 51-49, eight points for Mullen, 9.50 to go in the half. Well, they're really going to Charles. He's taken 17 shots already in the game. And he's made 13 of them. 31 points for Barkley. No whistle. He's upset. He's going to get a technical, too. He's running out of gas. I think Paul Westphal might need to substitute for him. Mullen and Ames collide. And the foul is going to be called on Ames. For Danny Ames, his second. We've got a timeout. 51-49, Golden State. Told you it was coming when he got he started getting tired. I want time and a half. <laughs> right. Yeah. I saw it coming, guys. <laughs> You gonna have a drop on the trophy? Okay. 
Jimmy takes Charles out. Charles was getting tired. The foul of the previous play was charge number 22, Danny Gaines, his second personal. Second team foul. And a technical foul has been called on number 34, Charles Barkley. Coca-Cola Enterprises presents the Coca-Cola Rookie of the Year Award to Golden State's Chris Webber, one of life's proudest moments, followed by one of life's most embarrassing moments as he hugged his dad, Macy Webber. He dropped the trophy. I think Nelly was saying, I hope that that's not a sign of things to come tonight, but Chris Webber, congratulations on an outstanding rookie season, edging out Anthony Hardaway. What was it, 53 to 47 in the voting? Charles Barkley got a technical foul assist as that timeout was called. And there's the T assessed by Billy Oaks. And we're back to live action now, 52-49. See Latrell Sprewell again still being played by KJ. Now they're going to go with Mullen against Ainge. They're going to go to that matchup. So you can see right now that when Danny Ainge comes into the ball game, they're going to force him to play defense. I think that's his third foul already. It is his third in game two. He came off the bench, played 31 minutes, scored 13 points, five of seven from the field. And Don Nelson admitted this morning that in game two, Danny Ainge really hurt the Warriors with his play. Well, you try to take one of their weapons away from them, and if you can get Danny Ainge out of the ball game, you do that. Now Marley has to come in. And again, here's a guy who's played on the season 3,200 minutes. So he's played over 40 minutes of ball game on the year. Chris Mullen regaining that shooting touch after that hand injury. 11 points tonight. 54. 49 and 8 nothing run for the Golden State Warriors. 9-14 to go in the first half. Looks like they're going to try to go to KJ now. Maybe give Charles Barkley a little rest. See if KJ starts to try to heat it up. Seven, Kevin Johnson. He has seven. 54-51 Warriors. It's what they'll do. They'll go to Charles, let him run up some numbers. If he gets tired, then they'll go to KJ. Look at Mullen with a quick release. Chris and Chris Mullen has 13 for Golden State. 56-51. A 10-2 run by the Warriors. They have a five-point lead. Still a lot of time left in the half. 8-44. Warriors doing a much better job on Johnson tonight. There's a steal by Spreewell over to Mullen. And three. Three. Oh, Mullen for three. No, too strong with a shot. Rebound pulled away by Kevin Johnson. Lost it right back to Jeff Greer. Greer over Miller. Four points for Greer. 58 to 51. And the crowd into it big time now here in Oakland. This is like run TMC when they had Mullen, Richmond, and Hardaway. No Richmond, no Hardaway. But it's still run Warriors tonight. Marley taking free from Mullen. Goes up over Owens. No whistle, no basket. Offensive board and put back by Dan Marley. His first basket tonight. 58-53 Golden State. Owens a mismatch on KJ. There's the help from Miller. Billy Owens with Green coming at him. I'll tell you what. He's these teams just are missing tonight. Six points for Owens, 60 to 53. Still seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. 
We're looking at an 80 point half. Golden State. There's Barkley going back to work. Couldn't get it to go, but he got fouled by Grayer. Grayer in second. Sir Charles will be at the line. He's already scored 31 points, and there's what Charles and KJ have done for Phoenix in the first two games in the series. Well, that's what I talked about. 59 points, over 15 assists, over 15 and a half rebounds. So these two guys have done that. You throw in Dan Marley, who's averaging over 18 points a game. AC Green at 12 and a half. Cedric Sabalos at 11. They're averaging 114 points a game, which is what they averaged last year during the regular season. If you're wondering what Charles' all-time high is in a playoff game, it's 44. His all-time high in any kind of an NBA game is 47 during the regular season. He's already got 32 points tonight with 7.22 to go. This may be a record-setting night for Charles Barkley. Well, unless Charles has a blowout here with a tire or something, he's going to get 50 tonight. Gatling the rebound. That's the first free throw missed by Phoenix after making 13 straight. 60-54. Golden State by six. Breyer working on Sabalos. He's back in there in place of Miller. Sabalos pulls away the rebound for the Suns. Off to Marley. Down to Charles Barkley. Well, he really wants the basketball. This is, a, this is the quickest I've seen him change into the floor this year. And away from the ball. Warriors. Gatling took a spill. Timeout, Golden five. State. Chris Gatling, first Guys, do we have anything built in there that might be appropriate here? I love to I watch love this. Like this, you yeah. know, that stuff watching paint dry, 85 to 82, you can have it. That's going to be that by halftime here. What was the final in the New York-New Jersey game? 92-91, maybe. Or 93-92, it was a one-point game. 50 for both teams is the high. They're going to get that. That's 75 points apiece. They'll get that. We have 6.53 remaining in the second quarter in game three. The Golden State Warriors trying to stay alive and take it to a fourth game here in Oakland. Leading it 60 to 54 earlier tonight. An exciting game at New Jersey. The Nets winning in overtime. Chris Morris hitting two free throws to give the Nets a 93-92 win. Knicks still up 2-1 in that series. In this first half tonight, Charles Barkley, 32 points. Latrell Sprewell, 20 points for Golden State. You know, it's really, has 13. excuse me, Peter, it's interesting when you look at the, the stats. 24 field goals right now for uh, Golden State. They have 18 assists, 19 field goals for Phoenix. They only have six assists, so they're doing a good job keeping KJ from penetrating. The put back by Cedric Savalas. He has eight. Four-point lead for Golden State. Boy, still not halfway through the second quarter. Sprewell really feels that he wants the basketball now against KJ posting. Let's see if he can get it. See if he can turn baseline. Well, he didn't get the basket to fall, but he did draw the foul. Kevin Johnson. Call for his second. At the conclusion of tonight's game, we'll be selecting the Budweiser player of the game. Budweiser will donate one thousand dollars on his behalf to the United Negro College Fund. Latrell Sprewell at the free throw line. He's three out of four from the line tonight. Now, after taking 31 shots the other night, KJ's only attempted four tonight. But the reason is that they've basically gone to Barkley in the post 
almost exclusively in this first half. He has 18 shot attempts. Sabalo six, four for KJ, five for Marley, and three for AC Green. So you can see right now that he's the primary focus of their attack. Question is, can he keep it up for 48 minutes? Well, he's gonna need a breather sooner or later, I think. You know, he said the other day his back got a little bit tight on him. I'm wondering if Paul Westfall is going to try to keep him on the floor as much as possible so that once he warms up, that he doesn't go over and maybe stiffen up. There's that high screen roll that they've had problems with. AC Green trying to get it to Sabalos underneath. Tipped out by Sprewell. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Pointer just before the shot clock was about to expire. Mullen the rebound. Latrell Sprewell down to Chris Gatling. Oh, he missed an easy shot. A Billy Owens rebound pulled away by AC Green. Or Billy Owens almost picked up a foul on that rebound, too. Chris Gatling should have dunked that ball. Marley, the finger roll for two. Marley has four. 61 58. Golden State by three. 540 to go in the half. Don Nelson rolling a little dice here. Billy Owens with three fouls. The block shot. KJ comes away with it going coast to coast and drawing the foul as he got hammered in the paint. That's the KJ that we saw in Phoenix. Really just blowing the ball up the floor. And you know what, Pete? You can't reach on him. When you reach, he'll go right past you. Two Warriors that time in transition reached in, and you see him go right past him, and then he gets right into the crease and goes to the basket. But here's Barkley with the great block. Remember, this guy's only six feet four. And KJ getting into the lane. And being fouled by Latrell Sprewell. That's three now on Sprewell. With a foul starting to mount up, this could be a real problem. So we're talking three fouls on Houston, three on Owens. And Sprewell, does he have two or three? Sprewell has three. Chris Gatling in, or out, I should say, as Weber checks back in. And KJ makes them both. Nine points for Kevin Johnson, 61-60 now, a one-point Golden State lead. You got two guys now with three fouls on the floor with almost a half remaining a in the second quarter. Right. So Billy Owens and Sprewell got to be very careful not to pick up their fourth foul. Sprewell on an offensive foul has to be very careful. Two bounces off the rim and out for the attempt by Sprewell. AC Green the rebound over to Kevin Johnson. So now Sprewell's playing KJ. He cannot reach. Look at Charles with another three. Not this time. Marley the rebound to put back. Dan Marley with six points all of this quarter. Phoenix regains the lead, 62-61. The Warriors cooling off just a bit here in the second quarter. Well, as fatigue starts to set in, you start losing some of the emotion. Really? And it gets down at the execution. I have a sense that Phoenix believes if the pace continues like this, that they'll wear this uh, Golden State team down even at home here in front of their fans. 63-62. Golden State back on top. Isolation now. Remember, both these guys have three fouls guarding KJ in the trap. Team on Marley to get it underneath to Sabalos. That's what happens when they get the double team. That's when Sabalos comes into play. See, he snakes on that baseline, and now you run a guy down at him out of a double team, and you get AC Green on the offensive board. They have no set plays that they run for Cedric Sabalos. It's all ad lib when they get the double team. He just opens himself up along that baseline. Run the lane and then curl and sneak around on that baseline. You got KJ will find you and Barkley out of double teams. Phoenix up by one. Out of bounds. Last touch by Weber. Under four minutes Is left now. Avery, Avery Johnson, Avery Johnson back in. Replacing Billy Owens. Billy Owens. Owens sitting down with eight points, three fouls. Sprewell short, Sabalos the rebound. See, Sprewell's got to be careful right here not to get a foul, a fourth foul on KJ, or, or run it through the screens. That's there it fourth is. foul. That's that was four. a frustration play. That is four on Sprewell. And that's what I'm talking about. That's where youth comes in. He lost his cool in Phoenix the other day. Got a technical foul in a critical part of game two. So now Sprewell with four fouls. That is a serious problem. So he's going to have to come out now. And Keith Jennings at just 5'7 will check in. 
That's where you've got to back off a little bit. He missed a layup and he was frustrated. He's chasing KJ. And then Barkley's going to step up and set a screen. Smart play by Charles. You see Sprewell's going so quickly and he just lowers his shoulder and runs right through him. That's a good call. And Charles upset. Charles has to be careful now. He already has one technical. This is how Ewing got thrown out the other night. Remember, Mike Matthews was on that ball game. Barkley already with 32 points tonight. He's three out of four for the free throw line. What do you think, Pete? What do you think about this early pace? Who does it favor? I mean, with four fouls now on Sprewell, Owens with three. Well, I think it's a little bit troubling for Golden State to have the foul trouble that they're yes. in right now at this stage of the game. I agree with you. I mean, 65 points for Phoenix. And, and there you can play this racehorse game all night, but if you run out of players, that's play right. it in that fourth quarter. And the one thing about Phoenix, you know, they, they have an arrogance about them. Like, we, we can outscore anybody in the league. So if you want to keep coming, we'll, we'll match you point for point. Don Nelson, a guy that tries to make matchup adjustments defensively a lot of the time. Paul Westphal just the opposite. He'll try to make the matchup adjustments offensively. See, and KJ's been very quiet, so you're waiting for him to explode. But with Barkley going the way he is, just keep going to him. Jeff Breyer can't handle him. Now they're going to post Marley against uh, Avery Johnson. So you just keep going. Where, where, where's your poison? That's right. <laughs> Eight points for Marley. 68 65 Phoenix by three 310 to go in the half. So you got two little guards in there Jennings and Avery Johnson So one of them's got to guard a much bigger player Now to seven on the shot clock Avery Johnson into the paint stripped by Marley over to Kevin Johnson Phoenix on the run down to Sabalos He is one of the best in the league at getting himself free in transition Ten points for Sabalos biggest lead of the night for Phoenix 70 65 timeout 247 left in a wild first half. A 20 second timeout. It's only a 20. But they got to call a flaw. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, that's why they took the 20. And you know what? There's nothing to tell us right now. <laughs> I mean, what I'm saying is, it's like, I mean, this is just, this is just Time up and down. Is. Yeah, you know what, can we, can we play that back? New Jersey. Yeah, in overtime. you know what? Uh, cir circle, uh, run it to the top, all right? Circle Cedric Sabalas right at the top, right there. No, 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 run, run it. Run it back a little bit. Okay, stop it right there. Circle Sabalas right at the top, 23. And just say, keep your eye on this guy. This is why they have no set plays from As we run this, his man is going to go double team. So you run it forward. And when the double team, now he goes to the basket. Someone's got to pick him up. All right, so Billy Allen's now playing him. Now here comes a double team. And there he is snaking along the baseline. He misses it, but now no one blocks out A.C. Green. <laughs> As we roll this forward, when the double team goes, he cuts to the basket. All right, now just keep your eye on him. Here comes another double team right here. So he's going to come to the open area. He's going to miss the shot, but no one now to block out A.C. Green, who gets the tip in. So this white Sabalas snakes along that baseline, and it's a great finisher, and it's a very important part. Remember, he was out of the finals last year against Chicago with the broken foot. They really missed him. Frank Johnson is back in the game, replacing Kevin Johnson for Phoenix. 2.44 remaining, 70-65 Phoenix. Keith Jennings was on the line. That would have been two of the wet, but it didn't. So that was the rebound. Very important two and a half minutes. I know I say that a lot during the playoffs, but I always feel like the last three minutes of a half can really dictate what's going to happen to you. Right now, this is sort of slipping away from Golden State, although they're only down five. And there's a steal by Avery Johnson. Off to Mullen for three. Chris Mullen's third three-pointer of the night. And he has three threes. Sprewell has three. Barkley has three. 18 points all together for Mullen. And Marley, lead. Marley leads the league. I don't think he has any. Barkley isolated on Gatling. If Charles is Seconds left on the shot clock. If he's tired, he shoots a fadeaway jump shot. Otherwise, he posts up. Comes up 
short. Rebound Dennings. When he starts holding the ball and shooting fadeaways, he gets tired. Dennings comes up short. The offensive board by Chris Weber. And we're going to get an offensive, or I should say a loose ball foul call against Chris Weber. That's his second foul. Barkley's gone the entire first half. He has not come out. Thirty-four points in this first half for Charles Barkley. Twenty-seven of them in the first quarter. You know what you think about? Think about you, David Robinson getting seventy-one the other night. But more importantly, how about when Wilt scored a hundred points? I mean, Barkley sixteen points behind his pace. That hundred-point game came in Hershey, Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's when NBA teams used to take their act on the road every once in a while during the year. When I was in Philadelphia, we used to play a couple games at Hershey. And every time you walked in there, you always got the feeling that you were part of history, being in that locker room where Wilt was, and then going out on the floor and playing where he set history. AC Green, after making his first five free throws, has missed his last two, and now Golden State in the position to tie it or take the lead with a three. Weber on Barkley. Illegal. Illegal D. That's a technical second call against Phoenix. The minute you cross the midpoint, you must go double the basketball. And what happened? Frankie Johnson started to go. He crossed mid the midpoint there of the uh, where the illegal defense is called, and then he tried to get back to his man. Avery, excuse me, Frankie Johnson, number three now. When the ball goes inside, you'll watch him here. Once he starts to go, that's illegal. Now he tries to get back to his guy. Once you start to go, you must continue on into the double team. Mullen hitting the free throw to make it 70-69. Weber trying to give the Warriors the lead. Rebound, Barkley. He got seven rebounds. And see, Charles did a nice job. He kept it about, about three feet further than his range with that little jump hook. A minute 15 left in the half. Phoenix up by one. And try to sweep the Warriors. Barkley, two more. You know, I'm surprised that Don Nelson's not double teaming. Barkley's having such a big game. 36 points. Jeff Grayer with two on the other side. He's got six. 72, 71, under a minute to go now. Are you a little surprised they're not double teaming Charles and trying to cool him they down? They this whole series. I think he was waiting for him to wear himself out. It may not happen. Rest between games and all. I I don't know. I mean, he's he's there's no one can guard him here. He has 38. Charles looked. He said, "No one can guard me," and he's right. They got to get it out of his hands. Chris Weber. Chris Weber with his 10 point, 74, 73. The record for most points in a half, 39. Sleepy Floyd with Golden State back in 87. So one more basket by Barkley, and he's got a record. Coming up at halftime, our Reebok halftime report. We'll take a breather while Ernie in our Atlanta studios has Philadelphia 76ers head coach Fred Carter. Highlights of the Knicks and Nets. They'll preview the Hawks-Miami matchup. That's all on our Reebok halftime report. A.C. Green trapped in the corner. Got rid of it. Sabalos. Got a two-second differential. Shot clock, game clock. Shot clock down to 10. Shot clock at six. Shot clock at four. Shot clock at two. Frank Johnson almost got that deep three pointer to go. And a whistle underneath and a foul call against Phoenix. That's a bad foul on Marley. That'll be in the penalty. So two free throws now. Very similar to what Jeff Brayer did at the end of the first period. So Number nine, Golden State with Green these two free throws has a chance to go up 75 to 74 with 1.5 seconds remaining here in this first half. The most points ever scored in the first half of a playoff game by two teams, 150. San Antonio had an 82-68 lead over Denver April 26, 1983. So if Weber makes these two free throws, they'll be just one point shy of that 150-point half back in 83. But he missed the first one. 41 Mark West returns. We have one and a half seconds still left. Charles is going to get a second and a half rest here in the first half. I'll tell you what. 38 point half for Charles Barkley. That's already an individual playoff high for him. The most he'd ever scored in a playoff game before 36. Oh my God. Never missed a both and was way off the mark with a second one. Now, shouldn't that be a violation if it doesn't hit the rim? I don't think it's the backboard. 73 Phoenix. We have had all sorts of superlative numbers we could put up there for you. 74-73 is our halftime score. The Phoenix Suns trying to sweep this series. 
from Golden State, leading it by one at halftime. Coming up next, our Reba Halftime Report. The Reebok Halftime Report is brought to you by Reebok, to remind you that on planet Reebok, there are no rules. They have played 24 minutes, and they've taken a heck of a lot of shots. Phoenix with a one-point lead over Golden State. This is the Reebok Halftime Report. I'm Ernie Johnson. This is Fred Carter. We know Paul Westfall is at that game. It's almost like Paul Westhead has snuck into the building, too, with that old nugget thing where you give up a lot of points. You know, the first game of the night was 83-83 at the end of regulation. This one is 74-73. Your thoughts? EJ, you and I could have scored in that game out there today. Uh, you're getting carried away. <laughs> but it's something else. I mean, what do you do? There's no defense being played out here. No, there's not any defense being played. And that's the in Western Conference basketball sometimes is that way where you just go up and down the floor. Last team that has the basketball probably win the game. Eastern Conference kicked off our doubleheader. And, folks, if you missed this thing, you should be kicking yourselves. It was a beauty. The Nets and the Knicks, game three. Late in the game, it is 81-79, New Jersey with the lead, but the Knicks challenging everything. Patrick Ewing going up and swatting that one away. He had five fouls at the time, Coach, but was still very aggressive. He certainly was. He was not going to back off in the ball game. He was going to give his team every opportunity to win as we see him blocking another shot, and that's why Patrick Ewing is the winner. And here he comes, weak side again, rotating, recovering, blocking shots. We go OT tied at 83. Derek Coleman strong, no foul. Ewing on the floor, 87-87. You want to see a ball? It gets some ice on it. This thing's way up there, and Ewing with the rainbow. They're up 92 to 91. Now Chris Morris goes to the line and nails two with 1.5 to go. They're up 93, 92. John Starks gets a great look how this happens. He certainly does. He comes off a back pick and gets a good look at the basket, but best shots off left, no chance to go into the hole. And with that, New Jersey stays alive. They win at the Meadowlands 93 to 92. Chris Morris, the hero with the free throws. And I tell you what, the Knicks tried to ice him, but it didn't work. I think when we went to the huddle, uh, coach told me, don't worry about what's in the huddle. You know, take a step outside the huddle and concentrate on uh, making this free throw. And, and I definitely started doing that. And I was holding my head down a little bit, just, you know, mentally in thought of what I got to do at that free throw line. Now, every player dreams of hitting the game-winning free throw. Is this something you've thought about that hope maybe you're in the opportunity to have this happen to you? I tell you what, I didn't want to be in that situation uh, again. But if, if they had to come down to it, I wouldn't mind. But... Um, Things uh, kind of got out of hand for us to where we wasn't really scoring and we didn't get any easy buckets. So we got to uh, step up a little bit in the fourth quarter to get more than just nine points. And, um, and that's the key thing right there. I tell you what, Chris Morris, you know, he's, he'll take the ball in that situation, not necessarily <laughs> wanting the ball in that situation. <laughs> but he is certainly one of the guys you pointed out at the beginning of the night who had to step up for the Nets if they wanted to stay in this series. And he hits the winning free throws. Well, yes, he had to stay up. Armin Gilliam had to uh, step up, and so did Kevin Edwards. And they did that, and that was uh, really enabled the Nets to pull out a ball game because Kenny Anderson still really hasn't found this stride. Yeah, Edwards was 16, Gilliam was 16 tonight, and the Nets are still in there. They win it by one. It is now two games to one. The Knicks lead, and Game 5 of that series, or rather Game 4 of that series, will be Friday night, right cheer on TNT. And when we come back, we'll look ahead to Atlanta and Miami, Game 4, when the Reebok Halftime Report continues. Charles Barkley has 38. That's right, 38. Phoenix with a 74-73 lead over Golden State, and they're only at the break. Tomorrow night here on TNT, we'll tip off a doubleheader with Atlanta and Miami, Game 4, a chance for the Heat to knock out the number one seed in the East, the Atlanta Hawks. So far in the first three games, Atlanta opened up at home, losing 93-88, to came back in that big bench-clearing game and won 104-86 to with Dwayne Farrell scoring 23 off the Pines. Last night, they went to Miami, or in game three, 90-86, to and it was the Heat winning. Steve Smith again, 25 points. Kevin Willis, 0 for 8 from the field. Fred Carter, what's going on with Kevin Willis? Well, Kevin's found himself, Ernie, sometimes operating on the wrong side of the floor. On the right box looking in, he gets double teamed from the weak side, and that's not really his side of the floor. For Kevin to operate, he's got to learn now that where his best is. You watch now as he catches the ball here, cycling comes on the weak side to double team. They drop in and shut the lane off. Turnover, Kevin Willis. That's not his side of the floor at all. His better side was illustrated when they were in Atlanta. You're exactly right. On the left box, as you look in, now you got him down here, catching the ball right here on the box. Miami is slow getting there to double team. So what happens is what, by catching the ball there on the box, 
Now he's got the ball. He can back the man in, turn the man toward the basket. His favorite shot, the little baby jump hook in the lane. Kevin Willis had averaged 17 and a half points a game in the first two games of the series. Two points, both at the foul line last night. Miami Heat in position to knock them out tomorrow night. It's game one of our doubleheader here on TNT. We'll be back to take a look at Sir Charles and the damage he's done in the first half of this Phoenix game after this. Welcome back to the Reebok Halftime Report with Fred Carter. You've coached Charles Barkley. You've coached against Charles Barkley. How do you stop Charles Barkley? Well, actually, you don't stop a Charles Barkley, but what you have to do is you have to double-team him. You have to take the ball out of his hands. And as you watch here, normally you coach against Charles Barkley, you bring this man right from the top of the foul line there, take the ball out of his hands, have this guy slide in the lane, this guy slide in the lane. There's no passes in the lane. But what happens, Don Nelson elects not to uh, double-team Charles. Charles, he'll get 60 points on you. He's working on Byron Houston there, and Byron is... Uh in need of some divine intervention when you're going up against Charles. 38 points in the first quarter, in the first half rather, 27 points in the first quarter, which was too shy of the NBA playoff record set by Sleepy Floyd, who had 29. And I'm telling you what, it was uh, an amazing thing to watch. You'll be back with us tomorrow night. You can't wait, can't obviously. Wait. <laughs> I can't wait. The Looking excitement is just jumping off of you. <laughs> Fred Carter, our guest tonight here on TNT. The third period just ahead from Oakland, where it's 74-73. Do not adjust your sets. The Reebok Halftime Report has been brought to you by Reebok, who reminds you that on planet... Along with Doug Collins, Pete Van Wuren welcoming you back to the Oakland Coliseum Arena. 74-73 Phoenix and halftime. Such a fast-paced first half that Phoenix Reserve Joe Klein, who didn't play a single minute in the first <laughs> half, walked by us and said, hey guys, I'm tired. <laughs> So am I from watching, but it has been a, a great first half. I think it's a couple things to watch for in the second half. Sprewell has four fouls. Will he start out playing KJ? Or maybe they start Avery Johnson to go against KJ. Latrell cannot get his fifth foul. Will they double-team Barkley and take the ball out of his hands? And you know, Barkley has cooled off. He was 11 for 11 in the first quarter. He's made four of his last 11. He's 15 out of 22. But is he tiring a little bit? Take a look at some stats that will show you just how hot these two teams were in the first half. Great shooting, 54% for the Suns, 62% for the Warriors. Three-point shooting, pretty darn good, too. Three of seven for Phoenix, six of eight for Golden State. 22 Warriors assists and very few turnovers in the first half. Just a half dozen by the Suns, five by the Warriors. But Charles Barkley is certainly the story. 38 first-half points. And again, single coverage. And here's when Charles beat the shot clock and then follows it up with the offensive rebound. Charles also had four offensive rebounds. And Latrell Sprewell was also sensational with a little runner here in the lane. He was 7 for 9, 3 for 3 from 3. He had 21 points, but picked up his fourth foul. And Chris Mullen also with a sensational first half. He had 19 points, 16 in the second quarter, and he was 3 for 4 from the three-point line. So, But uh, Charles Barkley, the spinning move on the baseline, and again, single coverage. Charles is just too strong. 38 points, 27 in the first quarter, and again, 15 for 22 from the field, 11 for 11 in the first quarter. There you see the most points ever scored in a playoff game, Michael Jordan, 63 points for Chicago in 86. If you're looking at Charles Barkley, who is in the 10th year of what's been an outstanding career, his best playoff game ever, 44. That was in Game 7 against Seattle in the Western Conference Finals last year. His all-time high in any kind of an NBA game, regular season or playoff, 47. He did that in Atlanta against the Hawks back in February of 1988. So Charles on track right now to have the highest scoring game of what has already been a sensational NBA career. Well, as I look out right now, Byron Houston back into the game. He'll probably be playing Barkley. you got Sprewell, so he'll be matched up against KJ. Joe Klein in the starting lineup for Phoenix in this second half. That's interesting. So that was some Barkley. Underneath Chris Webber. See, now that was too easy. That was way too easy. Phoenix, the one thing to find Paul Westfall, I don't want us to get so soft on defense that I, that I realize that uh, when it comes further in the playoffs, you're not going to beat teams like this shooting up about 75 points and a half. So Phoenix getting a little soft defensively. Suns up again after the Kevin Johnson jumper, giving him 11 points. So another layup. That's too easy. That's Billy way Owens. too easy. Ten for Owens. Golden State by one.
with this race. Started out right where we left off. But Pete, you know, on that one point I'm trying to make, you know, the team that advances, you get into a habit of just trying to outscore teams. Eventually, the pace is going to slow. There's a miss by Weber and a rebound by Barkley. He's got nine boards. See if Barkley takes a little bit of a rest in this quarter to wait for the fourth period. See if he lets KJ and let some of these other guys look to try to score. He got all of a second and a half off in the first half, and he's going right back to work here in the third quarter. He has 40. And Phoenix leads it 80 to 77. Chris Mullen, top of the circle. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts. Make sure your tray tables are in a locked and upright position. <laughs> Here goes KJ on the one-on-one -on -one move. And a foul call. That's five on Spreewell. That's five. And big, big Number trouble now for Golden, Golden, Golden State. State. That's how important that fourth foul was. And I said, remember at halftime, he's not going to be able to guard KJ. I'm a little shocked that Don Nelson has put him on here to start this third period because KJ is going to go at him. They see this matchup. He's got four, and he just reaches out and pushes. Sometimes you got to give up two and not get your fifth foul. And Avery Johnson about to check in for Golden State. Sprewell's going to have to spend considerable time on the bench here in the second half, and that could cost Golden State this series. But look at KJ, averaging 31 points a game in this series. Again, 38, which was his career high in the playoffs. 31 shots broke Paul Westfall's record for shots attempted in the game. Phoenix up by three early in quarter number three. Billy Owens again taking it in for another layup. He's got four in the quarter, 12 in the game. Suns lead down to one. Sabala's got to give him some defense. Now Billy Owens is scoring at will here to start this third quarter. Down it comes to Charles Weber on him now. Again, single coverage, Doug. See if they come get him now. Here's here the comes double Graham. team. Out to Joe Klein. Klein way short with the jumper. Into the hands of Billy Owens. Owens to Chris Weber. Weber trying to get Avery Johnson, and Avery Johnson saves it, but it's stolen by Kevin Johnson down to Cephalos. There he is releasing in transition again, and there's Marley with the follow-up. Marley in double figures now with 10. Three-point lead for Phoenix. You never take for granted that the ball's going to go in and get a layup. Marley's hustle that time, got his team two points with a putback. Top of the circle, Grayer hits the J. Hey, I won in this game. I might be able to score tonight. <laughs> I might be able to get a couple Grayer. playoff. Add to I, my, I notice you're getting a little edgy I over here. I am getting edgy here. My hands are starting to sweat and everything else. 483. It's a shooter's dream here tonight. Barkley's going to get to the free throw line. He got fouled that time. Number third on Weber. Gets his third foul. your second team foul of the period. As KJ throws ahead to Sabalas, and Grayer's going to come in from behind to distract him. You see him fumble, but there is Marley running the floor, and again, if you're Dan Marley, you'd like to get those kind of baskets because normally you're going to shoot a lot of three-point shots, and when you get those baskets, you like to be able to step out there. It gives you more confidence to shoot the three. Barkley, five out of six from the line tonight. And there's a rare miss by Charles Barkley tomorrow night. Atlanta, Miami with the Heat leading that series two games to one. Bob Neal, Goose Givens will have it for you. Second game of our doubleheader, San Antonio, Utah. The Jazz with a chance to clinch there. Gary Bender and Dick Versace will have all the action for you right here on TNT. Joe Klein got his three minutes, so he's out of the game now. And A.C. Green is back in, so this is the way they really played the last part of the regular season. A.C. Green, Barkley, and Sabalas on the front line. So really a small front line, but against Golden State, you can get away with it. Barkley will play Weber. A.C. Green will play Billy Owens now. 41 points now for Charles Barkley. Nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Owens off the glass. Everything inside falling for Golden State right now. 14 points for Owens. We are tied. What's the over and under right now, Pete, with you and I here about how many points tonight? It's over New Jersey and New York. There's Barkley again. No block out. 43 for Barkley. 87-85. We've almost caught up with all the points scored in the first game of tonight's twin bill. That went into overtime. Chris Mullen was out here today and shot for an hour this morning when we were here. It doesn't surprise me he's making these shots. He has 23. Tied at 87. New Jersey staying alive tonight with a 93-92 overtime victory over the New York Knicks. We have 8.21 to go in the third quarter. Tied at 87. 
Nobody on Kevin Johnson. He nails the open jumper. I've never seen so many wide open players in a game. Everybody who shoots a shot, there's not even a hand. Look at this, a layup. I mean, it's a layup, it's an open jumper, a layup. No one's guarding anybody. 89-89. And so at some point in time, there has to be some defense played here tonight. Avery Johnson trying to cause KJ some problems. Out to AC Green. Green gives it over to KJ. Seven left in the shot clock. No look, another layup. Pass, pass underneath for an easy layup for Cedric Sabalas. He has 14. I told you, I want out there. Pete. Just spot me up. I can still shoot it. to the J from about 15 feet. I don't have to leave my feet. 91-89. <laughs> 7.35 left in the third. This Wide open, open shot jumper. Like Avery Johnson wouldn't go, though. E.C. Green clears for Phoenix. Off to Kevin Johnson, down to Dan Marley. Marley going up over Weber. Lost the ball on the way up. Loose ball recovered by Avery Johnson. It's Mullen for three. Get it to Mullen. He's hot. It's dead Grayer. inside to Grayer. Jeff Grayer with 10. Tied again at 91. We're going to have 100 points scored here at the five-minute mark of the third quarter. Stolen by Avery Johnson. He gets it back from Chris Mullen and beats Kevin Johnson. Six points for Avery Johnson, 93-91, Golden State. Marley around Mullen, both go down. No whistle, loose ball. Back to Chris Mullen. To Grayer. Another layup. Wouldn't fall for him, but he did get fouled, and he'll go to the free throw line after this timeout. With 6.39 left in the third. The NBA Playoffs on TNT are brought to you by Chevy Trucks, the most dependable, longest-lasting trucks on the road. And by Dutch Boy, give your home the look that lasts. Huh. Well, the Warriors lead 93 to 91 here with 6:39 to go, and let's take a look at some easy baskets. Here's Jeff Grayer with a layup, and then we'll go the other way, and uh, KJ will penetrate, and he will find Cedric Sabalos with a layup, and then we'll come back the other way, and Avery Johnson with a layup. So a lot of easy scores here tonight, and it's going to be interesting to see at some point in time. Who starts guarding somebody? But Golden State at 492 led the league, and Phoenix was fourth, tied with Seattle at 484. And, and tonight percent. the Warriors 66 percent, the Suns 56 percent in this third quarter. Warriors are 10 of 12, Suns 7 of 11 in the field. Jeff Grayer at the free throw line. He was fouled by AC Green just before the timeout. There you see the field goal percentages. 11 points tonight for Grayer. If you're not double figures yet, stick around. You will be. <laughs> How about the game this year? Wasn't it Seattle? Seattle scored 150 against the Clippers. I think they had 10 guys in double figures. Oliver Miller tied up by Chris Webber. Gets rid of it to A.C. Green. Green's going to take it in over. Wow. Try to take it in over Jeff Greer. Greer is going to be called for the foul. Boy, A.C. Green had one thing on his mind. He was going to dunk the basketball to Oliver Miller in the game. An excellent passer. Oh, they call it on Miller. That foul's on Jeff Grayer, isn't it? Got to be on Grayer. Yeah, I mean, his third. AC Green to the line. He's got nine points, five of seven from the free throw line. I look at tonight's Chevrolet scoreboard. Only one game. New Jersey stays alive. Overtime victory over the New York Knicks. Chris Morris hitting two free throws. With one second left in overtime to give New Jersey that victory. New York still leads that series two games to one. Game four coming up Friday night. Well, the early line now on the NBA champion has got to be Chicago and Indiana because the last five champions have swept the first round. So let's see if Phoenix can get into the pool tonight. 95-91 Golden State. A three-point effort by Mullen around and out. Rebound, battled for out of bounds. It still belongs to the Warriors. wild one here at the Oakland Coliseum Arena. It was tied at 42 at the end of the first quarter. Barclays with 27 first quarter points. Wide open jumper again. Short this yeah. time by Grayer. Rebound Barkley. He's got 11. Yeah, yeah. It's 
screen roll now. KJ. Look at another layup. Another layup, Oliver Miller. His first two of the night. Oh, Looks like they're trying to rotate baseline, trying to force KJ baseline, and the rotation is slow getting there. And then no weak side help. We've seen Sabalas with a layup, Barkley with a dunk, and now uh, another layup by Phoenix. So three layups on the little screen roll play where they go baseline. Inside, another Easy layup. shot for Billy Owens. Eight and a quarter, 16 in the game. 97-93, Golden State. Five and a half minutes left in the third. Charles Barkley. Could they come double teaming when he starts to get into the lane? Needs two for a playoff career high. Passes off instead to a wide open AC Green, and the open shots are not being missed by anybody. 97 95. Avery Johnson. <laughs> Tip in by Weber. It's in the lane. Everybody's getting in the lane, Pete. I can't, you know, it's, it's amazing. 99-95, Golden State. There's another jump shot. KJ contested. Missed it. Rebound, Dreyer. Golden State's going to be the first to 100 if they score here, and they don't. Rebound, Barkley. KJ to AC Green. Inside KJ. You know what? They scored that one with four guys down court. Barkley's shoe was untied. He stays back in the backcourt tying his shoe. And Kevin Johnson still able to break loose for a layup. 17 points for KJ. 99-97 Warriors. I told you you had 97 points with four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter and you were losing. <laughs> There's another open shot. Avery Johnson. Around and out. A rebound. Sir Charles. Off to Kevin Johnson. 13 rebounds for Barkley. Dan Marley. Off the glass. AC Green trying to control. Marley came up with it in the corner. Lost it. Daddy Ames checks back in. He played briefly in the first half and picked up three quick fouls. Charles Barkley have got all of a second and a half to rest in the first half, getting a little more timeout here in the third quarter. See, Charles only took two shots in that whole quarter, though, both of them on give-and-go layups, one on a follow-up and one on a pass from KJ. So he really took that quarter off offensively. So look for him to come back in the fourth and try to be rested and ready to dominate once again. They're going to go right at Ainge again as soon as he comes into the game. by Miller. Gavin Johnson trying to beat Mullen. Mullen stole the ball. A three-on-one Warriors break. AJ feeding Chris Webber. Foul by Danny Ainge. And Danny Ainge is going to pick up his fourth foul. So in the first half, Danny Ainge played three fouls, three minutes, and he got three fouls. Now he's played about a minute in this quarter and picked up his fourth. But Danny Ainge has four fouls and has not attempted a shot tonight, has not scored. Oliver Miller trying to give help, and again, he comes over to get the block shot, and Oliver Miller can do that. He's eighth in the league in shot blocking. Here's KJ, and Mullen just takes a swipe and knocks the ball away. Chris Weber made the first. He's got 15. He also has 10 assists in this game. Well, he should get the uh, triple-double win tonight the way he's got going. Five rebounds. Oh, he banked that one. I wonder if he called it. 16 points for Weber. 101 97 Warriors. Still three and a half to go in the third. Kevin Johnson, Green, Marley, Miller, and Ainge. Now another layup. Another dunk shot. This time Oliver Miller's got four. 101 99 Golden State. Tipped away by Green. And Phoenix with a chance to tie it up or take the lead with a three here. See, KJ wants to isolate on Gray. There's no way he can contain him. And he turned the ball over. Phoenix calling a timeout. 2.47 to go in the third. Well, the Warriors lead by two. We got our Telestrator working again here. So we'll run this forward and we'll show you what's happening. We stop it right here. They're trying to force KJ baseline. And this is where Owens and they've got to be able to trap it. But you're going to see what's going to happen here. Billy Owens backs off. And now KJ, we stop it right there. Here comes Weber. Mullen moves out. You've got AC Green screening off Grayer. So they're just stepping right in, getting the bounce pass, and you're getting the layup. They've had three of these this period for easy scores. Warriors are going to have to make an adjustment on that.
43 points tonight for Charles Barkley, 17 for Kevin Johnson. And they've got, uh, what, 13 rebounds and nine assists. And they're right where they were the first two games. They were averaging 59 points a game between them. They've got 60 combined already. We're only in the third quarter with 2.47 to go. Who can outlast two in game three? Suns trying to sweep, Warriors trying to stay alive. We'll see if Barkley rests the last four minutes of this quarter. He's going to be fresh enough to come back in and have a big, big fourth quarter. That would worry me if I'm Nelson and if Sprewell sitting there with five fouls. How cool is he going to be when he comes back into the game? Down to Oliver Miller, and Miller is going to have another chance for another stuff. He's got six points. Oliver Miller. And it's 101, 9, 101, 101. A little slow on the scoreboard here. They still got 99 up there. So they changed it. I can't blame them for not being able to keep up on this one. Got a little slow change in the score here, Pete. He can't blink. Tied at 101, 208 to go. See, they're going to isolate Grayer now against Ainge, trying to let him get his fifth foul if possible. Grayer nails another J. And he says, My goodness, they're going to get a foul on the guy he's hitting the shot. He said, Everything working against me tonight. 103, 101, Golden State. Kevin Johnson losing the ball, but he'll go to the free throw line. See, Kevin Johnson's just just breaking their defense down. They're trying to trap him. They're coming at him at the middle of the floor. The problem is the guard is letting him get to the outside, and he gets the trap beat in two dribbles. See this right here? He's already passed the trap, Billy Owens. Now someone's got to step up, and you're playing four on two, basically, So because K.J. has brought three players to him. Another player in foul trouble now for Golden State. Billy Owens just picked up his fourth. And they say it was not in the act of shooting. It's the first of the last two minutes, so the ball inbounded from the sideline by the Suns. Danny Ainge tries a three. Too strong with it. Offensive board, Oliver Miller. Ainge tries a two. And Danny Ainge has taken until this long in the third quarter to get on the scoreboard. Tied at 103 with 125 to go. In the third. Gonna go to Grayer again against Ainge. See if they double team. Here comes Miller to give him some help. They get it back to Grayer. Baseline jumper no. Rebound AC Green. Marley AC for three. Marley. Marley's gonna fire it from three-point territory. Rebound off in the corner. Finally pulled away by Oliver Miller. Long off off the glass. Nope. Another rebound by Miller. Nope. Rebound to Billy Owens. Owens trying to give Golden State the lead. This trip down. Working one-on-one. -on -one, the shot over range. Around and out. Rebound KJ. Now Phoenix on the run. To Marley. Off the glass. Count the basket. He'll go to the free throw line. Is this a simulcast you're doing here tonight? <laughs> I'm reporting I'll more. tell you what. This is fourth personal. Players 15 fouls. KJ just blowing the ball off the floor. And another player in foul trouble now for Golden State. That was Grayer's fourth foul. Frank Johnson returns. Frank Johnson, Johnson in, replacing Kevin Johnson. Charles Barkley. What will he have left in the fourth quarter? 43 points tonight. He rested at 407. They took him out at 407, so he should be fresh. So if you're Don Nelson, you're going to say, wait a second here. I'm, I'm now down. 105, 103. The scoreboard says 101, 99. So this scoreboard's having problems. One scoreboard burned out, and I can't believe it. it must have short-circuited with all the scoring tonight. 106, 103. Phoenix. Avery Johnson nails the jumper. He's got eight. See, Avery Johnson had a little article in the paper today. He said, "I, you know, I don't want to complain or anything." He said, "But this team was." I think, what, 40 and 30 with me as a starter, so I know that I can help this team play, and I can play against KJ, so give them a nice lift off the bench tonight offensively. 106-105, Phoenix. Now Frank Johnson comes up empty. Gatling had a rebound and had Chris Mullen wide open on the other end of the court, but lost the ball briefly. Billy Owens around Miller off the glass. No, tip by Gatling did. Chris Gatling, four. Length to the court. Oh, that almost went in the basket. Comes out to Billy Owens. One second left. The three-point effort at the buzzer wouldn't go. And a wild and woolly game three continues from the Oakland Coliseum Arena. It is at the end of three quarters now. 107 to 106. Warriors. Warriors leading at 107-106. Pete Van Weeren, Doug Collins back with you for quarter number four in game three of this best of five series between Phoenix and Golden State. Golden State needs to win to stay alive. They got all kinds of people in foul trouble. 
And as you predicted, Doug, Charles Barkley back in to begin the fourth quarter. KJ gets a breather. Everybody looks exhausted. I don't know the amount of miles that's been run tonight. KJ going to come right back into the game here real quickly, but they've gone to a small lineup. I think they're worried about possibly seeing some trapping defense, but I think you're going to see Barkley really try to have a monster fourth quarter. Let's see if they go to him. Cage kicks it outside. A three-point effort by Dan Marley. He's got 16. And Phoenix has the lead back by two. Mullen from outside. This is just incredible. You got to get a hand up. I mean, A.C. Green's a good defender. He tried to stare him off of him with his face that time. Mullen's shooting it so well, you got to force him to put it on the floor. 25 for Chris Mullen. 9 for 12 from the floor and 4 for 4, I think, from the three-point line. Here. Another three for Marley, and here we go again, folks. 19 for Marley. 112, 109. Mike Mathis walked by, and he said, I just refereed the New York, New Jersey game. like 80, 80, so, so this is unbelievable. Gives it off to Spreewell. Remember, Spreewell with five personal fouls. Inside, Avery Johnson. Now, it's something when you're 5 10 post, uh, point guards posting up now. He's got 10. 112, 111, Phoenix. We got to get this in. The Warriors are league leading 35 and 1 when ahead after the third quarter. Let's see if they can get another save once again tonight. Barkley with Gatling on it. Charles Barkley, 43 points tonight, 27 of them coming in the first quarter. This will be a career playoff high for Charles Barkley. That was, that was 45 points. He had 44 in Game 7 against the Sonics in the Western Conference Finals last year. That was just a muscle shot. 114-111. Billy Owens, Marley guarding him. Here comes Ainge with the help. Underneath, Chris Gatling. Timed it well, drew the foul from Barkley. Another look at Charles Barkley scoring a career playoff high 45th point. Well, he pump fakes and gets Gatling into the air and then gets a little bit of a bump, and then he's going to be able to just muscle. Look at that. He just bumps into his shoulder and kisses it off the glass nicely, and then Charles shaking his head like, you can't guard me. Chris Gatling at the line. Had a lot of success as a starter for Golden State this year. See, with a, a name like time. Gatling, he has to shoot more. He'd be the Gatling gun. See, he passes way too much. See, the Warriors were 15 and 8 once they had Gatling in the starting lineup. Wound up the season averaging a little over eight points a game, averaging nine points a game in this playoff series with Phoenix. up by two. Gatling, five points tonight. Missed that one. A.C. Green the rebound. Indeed, I'm just sort of sitting here smiling thinking my son Chris is home from college laying on the couch. I bet he's loving this game. About 300 points scored tonight. Dan Marley working on 400. <laughs> Eight points in the quarter. 21 in the night for Marley. One -0. I'm looking at that long board again. 116-112. They got one board that's out of commission here. Pretty well from outside. Do strong. Rebound pulled away by A.C. Green. Off to Marley. Got to go back to Barkley. Barkley's feeling it, and he might spot up Marley for a three here. Barkley wants it. Marley's going to keep it. Why not? He's had the hot hand in this quarter. Ten points in this quarter for Marley. 23 on the night. 118 to 112 Phoenix. Golden State's going to stop the clock here. This is a 20-second timeout called by Golden State. Are they changing it to a full now? They will change it to a full. And here is tonight's Dutch boy in the paint. The Suns, eight points better than the Warriors in the paint. Reason why? Charles Barkley, 45 of those 50 points in the paint for Phoenix. Yeah, and he's plus eight against the Golden State starting front line. A monster game for Charles, but as he's rested a little bit here and gotten his breath, Dan Marley has come on very strong. He has two threes. Here's one of them. Two threes and two driving field goals in the fourth period. So ten quick points in the first three minutes for Marley. Here's a nice little give and go and a little reach defense by Chris Gatling, afraid to leave Barkley. 
And then here he goes with a nice power move once again in the ninth finish. So Marley getting hot here at the right time, pushes the Phoenix lead to six with nine minutes and 26 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. For Phoenix, it's Frank Johnson, A.C. Green, Dan Marley, Danny Ainge, and Charles Barkley. Very small lineup for Phoenix. Chris Gatling, Chris Mullen, Billy Owens, Latrell Sprewell, and Avery Johnson for Golden State. See, Latrell Sprewell got off to such a great start. He had 21 points at half, but picked up his fourth foul, I think, about the four-minute mark of the second quarter and has not got back into the game since. He picked up his fifth to start the uh, third period, still sitting on 21 points. They need him to get hot here in the last 9.26. Barkley on Mullen. Barkley got a hand on that ball. Danny Ainge comes away with it. they got to be careful here. Phoenix is looking to make a little surge. 118-112, six-point lead for the Suns. Their biggest lead in this game. Barkley over Gatling. He has not cooled off. He has 47 points. That ties his career high in the NBA, which he had in a regular season game against Atlanta back in 1988. Mullen to Gatling. Basket good. Fouled by Ainge. Danny Ainge with five fouls now. Danny's upset at himself because if you're going to foul, you don't want to give up the three-point play opportunity. Danny said, I tried to foul him as hard as I could. He rotates over, gets there a little bit too late. And there's the foul. You see Danny tried to take the hard foul. He's upset right there at Gatling with a nice, strong finish. But Phoenix goes with a very small lineup. Again, you see A.C. Green basically is their center. Charles Barkley is their power forward at 6'5". And you've got Sabalas at their small forward. So very small lineup right now for Phoenix. I think you'll probably see this finish the game. Sabalas in there to replace Ames. Gatling completes the three-point play. It's 120-115. Byron Houston now back into the ball game to, to guard Charles Barkley. He got an early foul trouble, which I thought really hurt them, too. And they're going to go right to Sir Charles again. Who is putting on the offensive display of his career tonight. Fadeaway jumper. This one wouldn't go. Gatling the rebound. Golden State down by five with the ball. 8.20 to go. Mullen. Across to Spreewell. Barkley comes out as does KJ. Tipped by AC Green. Barkley, Spreewell, the only guy back, and he's got five fouls. He just had to stand there and watch that one. That's a good call, Pete. Made a careless pass, and then when he got back, he couldn't defend because of the five fouls. That's why you have to stay out of foul trouble. 13 points for AC Green, 122-115. Mullen. Boy, his shot has not hit the rim tonight. That has been so pretty. 27 points for Mullen. I love to watch great shooting, and Chris Mullen, when he's on, is as pretty a shooter as there is in this game. 7.40 remaining. Barkley gets around Houston, reverse layup, count the basket, drew the foul. Barkley with 49 points. Now that was quick. That was quick. He made that quick spin. You see the guys in the sun just sort of shaking their head. Now I'll tell you it's going to be something important. Is that they don't stand around and watch Charles play because at some point in time, someone else is going to have to score some hoops here for them. But Charles with a great spin move on Houston, no help on the baseline. Charles Barkley has the opportunity now to go for number 50. I told you in the first quarter, unless he blew a tire, he's going to sit on 50 points the way he's playing tonight. Well, there it is, 50 points for Barkley. 7.35 to go. Is this the biggest lead for Phoenix? Yes, it is, 125 to 117. Spreewell posting against KJ. Two points off the glass. Latrell Sprewell's first point of the second half, 23 in the game now. 125, 119. See, he can't play KJ, though. KJ's going to be able to dump the ball into Barkley, and Sprewell just got to give him room. Barkley baseline, whistle before the shot attempt. It's going to be a foul off the ball. I don't see who he's going to play. It's on Houston. It's on Byron Houston, and he's got five now. So they've moved Weber over to Barkley. Now, the reason they've done that is, is to try to give him a bigger player to play against. If Barkley has problems, it's playing against the longer players. That's why he struggled against L.A. a little bit last year in the first series and why Chicago could do a job with guys like Horace Grant. See, there's the penetration, and Sprewell can only watch him go by. C. Green back outside to Marley. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Marley works himself free for Mullen and drew the foul.
Timeout Warriors. Warriors will take a timeout here. As Byron Houston has fouled out. The Suns lead 125-119. Dan Marley will be going to the free throw line with six minutes and 41 seconds remaining here in the fourth and final period. And Golden State has just one last gas to try to keep their season alive. And you look at KJ's number, 24, 38, and 17, but that 17 very deceptive as Barkley has 50. And there's Timmy Hardaway. Tim Hardaway coming back off knee surgery, was selected to Dream Team 2. Then he was replaced by Isaiah Thomas, who blew out his Achilles tendon. And now KJ has been announced to the team. And I think what a great addition. He's one of the sensational point guards in this league and, and a well-deserved honor for KJ. 6.41 to go. It's 125-119 Phoenix. Charles Barkley has become the 14th player in NBA playoff history to have a 50-point night. Michael Jordan, Elgin Baylor, Wilt Chamberlain, Rick Barry, John Havlicek, Jerry West, Sam Jones, Sleepy Floyd, Bob Cousy, Bob Pettit, Billy Cunningham, Bob McAdoo, and Dominique Wilkins are the others. Now, Pete, just to talk to you a little bit about the difference in the East and West, already in the West, 12 times has there been a team score 105 or more points in a game. In the West, I mean, excuse me, in the East, only one time by Chicago. They said all along there's a difference in the style, but we're certainly seeing it tonight. 126 119. Seven point lead for the Phoenix Suns as they try to win this opening round series in three. I'm going to go to Sprewell again, once again against KJ. Bones didn't see him. Look at this deep, deep three from wow. Chris Mullins. Boy, is he shooting the ball. 30 points for Mullins. 126 122. Marley said, Take that. <laughs> Rebound Houston. He didn't foul out. That last foul must have been called on somebody else. I thought they called it on Byron Houston. When Mullen wants it again, he, you better get up on him. He's feeling it from three. 5.56. Still a lot of time left here. Owens. Short range jumper. Too strong with it. Barkley the rebound. Charles Barkley wants the ball in the post. He said, bring the ball to me, KJ, this time. He's got 14 boards to go along with 50 points. Post it up on the rookie of the year, Chris Weber. It doesn't matter. Me? 52 points for Barkley. Are you kidding me? That was an unbelievable. Weber did a great job defensively. That was just a wonderful shot. 128 to 122. <laughs> and still a lot of time left. the shot here by Barkley. Now Weber squares him up, does a great job. Look, he's going to jump and get a hand in his face. Barkley looks like he's behind the corner of the board. Nothing but the bottom of the net. There's the all-time records That's for playoff That's his buddy Michael, scoring. too. That, wasn't that against the uh, Boston Celtics? It was against Boston. Latrell Sprewell fall away. Jumper goes. He's got 25. And Golden State is climbed back to it in four with just under five minutes to go. Here comes the trapping defense right now by Golden State trying to get the ball out of KJ's hands. He can go right past Chris Mullen if they'll clear the side. Rebound Weber. Off to Keith Jennings. Mullen wants a three. How about Spreewell will take the three. Wouldn't go for him. Rebound out of bounds off the rim. Spreewell kicking himself for missing that shot. And a timeout's going to be called here by Phoenix. Which one of these teams will outlast the other tonight? remaining in the fourth quarter. Phoenix up by four. Be sure to stay tuned to TNT for Inside the NBA. Fred Hickman and Mike Lynn. They'll have scores and highlights from tonight's action. A look at the Indiana Pacers and a preview of tomorrow's game four between the Hawks and the Heat with Miami just one win away from advancing. And here's what you were talking about before, Doug, the difference between games in the East and the West so far on these playoffs. This is average points a game in the Eastern Conference, 188 total by both teams. The Western Conference, 206. So normally, you've got an 18-point difference tonight, 252. And we still got 433 to go. It is 128 to 124. Phoenix closing in on a playoff high as a team. They 
have never scored more than 135 points in a playoff game. They're only seven away from it now. AC Green. Charles Barkley. Well, we'll see if Charles is in charge for the last four minutes. Look at that into the paint. It falls for him. 54 points for Charles Barkley. He's nine away from the NBA playoff record with four minutes remaining. 131-24 Phoenix. Sprewell. Outside to Keith Jennings. Ball still belongs to Golden State. Well, Charles looks quick and strong on this move. Look at the quick step and then the power. Squares his shoulders up nicely and gets the kind roll. That's just a nice power move by Charles Barkley. It is still Golden State's ball. Look where Cedric Savalas wound up in the third row. Only three seconds now remaining on the shot clock. See if Sprewell can pop out and get a quick three coming off the screen, maybe by Billy Owens. They try the alley oop inbound to Weber. He lost it. Marley recovers for Phoenix. And now they can open up that eight-point lead again. Got to go back to Barkley. He wants the ball in his hands. They're trapping here, trying to prevent them from running their half-court offense. See if Charles will come get it. He comes to trap once again. When you trap, though, you leave, you leave three-point shooters open. Marley misses. Owens the rebound. Keith Jennings. He's got Chris Mullen wide open. Marley quickly gets to him. Mullen's going to take it over Marley and misses tonight by Mullen. Rebound goes out of bounds off Golden State. Chris Weber thought the call should have gone the other way. Phoenix gets it back. 3.15 remaining. Suns up by six. Off offensive foul on KJ. A careless inbound play here by A.C. Green and Kevin Johnson. A lazy pass and KJ just pushed off against Mr. Jennings. So Golden State will get it back once again. How many points do you think will be scored in this last three minutes and 14 seconds? They're sitting on 130 right now for Phoenix and 124. What do you think it's going to take about 145 points to win this I game? I think so. Weber, he hadn't had a chance to do that the whole game. Jennings for three. This that's year, Jennings gets his first three of the night. That's why it was a lazy inbound play. See, that's a, that's a, that's a five-point swing. Two that you give up and three that they get. 130-127 Phoenix. KJ trying to drive by Keith Jennings. And Jennings fouled him. That's his first. It's only the fourth team foul, so not yet in the penalty. All the talk we've had during these NBA playoffs about the trash talking and everything hasn't been time for it in this game. No, you got to take a breath when you're running back down the floor. You've gone up down the floor so many times. But this has been a spectacular offensive display by both teams. There's Sabalos operating along the baseline. Lost it, got it back, wouldn't go for him. Tipped it out of bounds. Ball goes back to Golden State. They're only three points down. That's what I was getting ready to say. With all that's going on here with Phoenix, that Mr. Jennings started to pick the ball up and pass it. And when he did, he was going to double dribble, and he had to let it go. Forced turnover here now, and that's the fifth team foul. What a what an unfortunate play that time by Mr. Jennings. He was going to pass the ball and then had to foul. That is his second foul. And Cedric Sabalas will be at the free throw line. He has 14 points tonight, two for two from the line. Phoenix tonight from the free throw line. Plus the penalty, two shots. 23 out of 30. You know, when you think about Golden State's year this year, as we see. Sabalas missed the first one. They win 50 games. Don Nelson has done a great job. You had Chris River, but you lose Sharunas Marshallonis and Hardaway from the entire year. Think what's going to happen next year. You get those guys healthy. And then maybe you sign a guy like Robert Parrish. There was a big article in the paper today about possibly Parrish coming. This team could be a championship contender real quickly. 131, 127. Phoenix up by four. Sprewell. He's been playing this entire quarter with five fouls. It's a two-point game now. What a great shot. I guess we shouldn't read the obituary too soon on Golden State. Now down by only one field goal. 27 points for Latrell Sprewell. 215 remaining. KJ penetrates. Phoenix calls and time. was able to call a 20-second timeout to avoid getting tied up if he lost his footing in the paint. A wild and woolly.
penalty shootout here in Oakland tonight. 131-129 Phoenix. They're trying to win it in three. And the story tonight has been Charles Barkley. 54 points. Only seven performances better than Charles Barkley's in NBA playoff history. Well, when you look at the scoring, you think if Barkley had 54, normally the rest of the guys on your team would not have that many points. But all five starters really in double figures. So the other guys also scoring along with Charles. You see the... Phoenix has three full timeouts remaining. Golden State has three, and Phoenix has two fouls to give here as we get down to the last two minutes and 14 seconds to go. He saw that big smile on Charles' face as he reacted to something someone said to him in the crowd. He's enjoying this. Well, Charles has only taken eight shots in the second half. Remember, he had 22 at half. Along the baseline, Barkley, two more. He's got 56 points. Charles is going to be careful. seven away from Michael Jordan's playoff record. Phoenix up by four, two minutes to go. There have only been two performances better than Barkley's. Elgin Baylor, 61 points in 62, and Michael Jordan, 63 points in 86. Zabalos to Kevin Johnson, a minute 44 to go. He got 33, 129. You gotta be aware of Barkley, he'll shoot a three here too. He'll step back where he feels so confident right now. Watch him right now, if they don't get up on him, he'll take a three. Instead, the pass inside to A.C. Green. Green hits. And it's getting closer for Phoenix. Green with 15 points. The Suns are beginning to smell it. Well, the Warriors trail by six. We have a minute 30 to go, and Chris Webber squared up on Barkley. One of Barkley will be talking about this in the barbershop tomorrow. Nice drive on the baseline. He has now 56 points. And in case you joined us late, it all began very early for Charles Barkley to at a 27-point quarter to start the game. He now has 56. Elgin Baylor, 61 points in 62. Michael Jordan, a 63-point game in 86. That game was in double overtime. And we still have a minute and a half to go here. Phoenix... Up by six, if they win this one, they advance to the Western Conference semifinals, and there's another Golden State turnover, and Phoenix closer and closer now to a three-game sweep of the Warriors. I'm, I know I'm going to say this, but you want to use some clock right now if you can. You've got a six-point lead, milk it, and then let K.J. penetrate, maybe find Marley for a three. Two, no, Sabalos recovers, puts it back in. He's got 17, and it's almost impossible now for Golden State to come back. 137 to 129. An eight-point lead for Phoenix. It's the most points the Phoenix Suns have ever scored in regulation in a playoff game. Kelly Owens. 18 points for Owens. 137-131. Time left in quarter number four. Pete Van Weeren, Doug Collins with you from the Oakland Coliseum Arena where Paul Westfall's Phoenix Suns, who took five games a year ago to eliminate the Lakers in round one, are just 41 seconds away from perhaps sweeping this three out of five series from the Golden State Warriors on a record-breaking night for Charles Barkley. Well, just to reiterate what we talked about early, too, this is important for Charles Barkley to end this series tonight and get some rest. They had to go four or five in this kind of pace. Now you go into possibly either Houston or Portland, and you're going to face a, a team if you play Houston where it's not going to be this kind of game. It's going to be a grinding, bumping game. He's going to see an Elijah Wan and an Otis Thorpe. If, if that team advanced, if not, you're going to see the, a Cliff Robinson, a Buck Williams, some more power players. So important right now for Phoenix to finish this off and get some rest. Time out, Golden State. 41 seconds to go. Headline News Sports Ticker updates basketball, so you'll always know the score. This isn't the work of a kindergarten artist. It's the Dutch Boy Paint Testing Facility, where we make sure our kids' room paint will resist your little one's finishing touches. It's one of 73 tests we do, so you can give your own the lasting look of Dutch Boy. Welcome back to Oakland, where Phoenix leads the... Golden State Warriors 138 to 131. We keep looking at these record books to see what other records Charles Barkley may be closing in. And he has 23 field goals tonight. Most field goals made.
made in a playoff game. Wilt Chamberlain, John Havlicek, and Michael Jordan, 24. So he needs one more basket to tie that mark. I tell you, we got to give a little credit here to Bruce Wolf, our stat guy. He's been working his tail off tonight, keeping up with this game. Every time he turns a new page, it's a new record and a new score. So, Bruce, great job tonight. Well, the fans here in Golden State giving their Warriors a standing ovation, and part of this may be for Charles Barkley as well. They'd love to see the Warriors give Phoenix some kind of finish here, but they may not have enough time left. And they have to get off a quick shot here. Collins lost it on the way up, A.C. Green. Now let's see if they'll give it back to Charles. A foul in the backcourt, Owens. Gets A.C. Green. You know, overlooked tonight with the night that Charles Barkley is having, Doug, there are so many other great performances tonight on both ends of the court from both teams. I mean, Chris Mullins had a sensational night shooting the basketball. He has How about the quarter Marley has put in in this fourth quarter. Marley with the big fourth quarter. What, what's he had in this quarter? I mean, he, he has 10. He has 11 in the quarter, 24 in the night. And he got 10 real quickly, right? Right about three minute period of time. We had two threes and two driving field goals. So Charles got a little bit of a rest. I mean, and KJ, I mean, you talk about his numbers, only 18 points, but 12 assists. Chris Mullen, as you mentioned, with 30 points tonight. Latrell Sprewell, 27, and he's been playing all of his minutes in the second half with five fouls. That fourth foul in the, in the first half really took him out of the game because then he picks up number five and never really got back in the sink after that. Charles Barkley leaving, and this fan, the fans should really give him a big hand. What a sensational effort. 56 points for Charles Barkley. Do you think Charles will, uh, will really retire at the end of this year? Do you think he's going to hang it up? I don't believe he will. Do you think he will? I don't know. It's hard to I think it would be easier if they won a championship. But it would be interesting to see if he can walk away from it. We'll find out. Here. We're going to have him live at our table here at the end of the game. So we'll let you ask him that question. I'm going to ask him, too, if he's going to go to the barber shop and talk about getting 56 on Weber and the guys tonight, like they were having that little commercial and talking about how they had the one dunk on him. Number three, Frank Johnson, replacing number seven, Kevin Johnson. Kevin Johnson comes out, and he's a happy guy. Now, this team, remember last year in the miniseries, or the, the five-game series against Los Angeles at the end of two, had lost both of their home games and had to go fight for their lives on the road. It's a much different series this year. Well, remember what Charles told us before the game. They learned something from that series. They learned. And if you get two games up on the team, you better take them out quick because you might lose. Phoenix is not about to do that this year. Just 17 and a half seconds to go. The Phoenix Suns will eliminate the Golden State Warriors, barring a miracle here by Golden State in a three-game sweep. And that's something that the Suns were talking about before the game tonight after having to go five games in the first round last year. We see Chris Webber then again. Congratulations to him on a sensational year, Rookie of the Year, edging out Anthony Hardaway. And we'll break down Charles Barkley's field, by, field goals by quarter. Remember we talk about dominating. Well, 11 for 11 in the first quarter, 4 for 11 in the second, 2 for 2 in the third, 6 for 7 in the fourth. So 22 shots in the first half, only 9, but 8 for 9, 23 for 31. That has been a remarkable night. Well, one of this team's remarkable number two, players. Jennings, the foul. That's fourth personal foul. foul number four on Keith Jennings. What do you think about these other two series out west? You've got Portland, Houston. Can can Portland push it to five? Three, I don't know. Four, I like five, Houston very much shots. in that series. I think I'm heading to Portland for that game four on Friday night, so we'll get a chance to see those two teams. And then you've got uh, Seattle, Denver. Can Denver uh, crank up the kind of effort they had uh, Monday night when we were in Denver well, and push that to five? If they can play another game like they played on Monday, they might be able to. But I don't know if they can put games like that back to back. We'll find that out too. And then we got Utah got a chance to polish off San Antonio. Can Rodman come back and help give them the opportunity to maybe push that back to San Antonio? They got to find some offense though. Firing up threes at the end, Golden State. But time is about to expire on the Golden State Warriors and the Phoenix Suns advance to the Western Conference semifinals, sweeping the Golden State Warriors in round one. Three games to none, game three final. You said it would take 140 to win, Doug, and it did. Phoenix 140. The Golden State Warriors 133. For the tremendous support you have shown us in another season of packed houses and loud crowds. See you next year. So the Suns are in.
Good being the Golden State Warriors. They will await the outcome of that Houston-Portland series to see who they play next. Seattle up 2-1 on the Nuggets. And Utah up 2-1 on the Utah Jazz. Final score once again, 140 to 133. Our Budweiser player of the game, not much doubt about it tonight. Charles Barkley, third best scoring performance in NBA playoff history. 56 points, 23 of 31 from the field, 14 rebounds. He's our Budweiser player of the game. And Charles, you were telling us before the game tonight that you were determined to come out here and take care of business starting in the first quarter. And you certainly did, 27 points in the first quarter. Well, they made up their mind that they were not going to double me. And I told Doug before the game, if they don't double me, I'm going to have a good night. And they refused to double. And I was very fortunate. I made all my jumpers. If I'm not making that little jumper 12, 15, it makes, it makes, I was benefiting them. But as long as I'm making those little jumpers, uh, I felt very good tonight. You know, Charles, I, I said during the telecast that uh, you're talking to you before the game. Really a long, lanky player can give you problems, but only Chris Webber has that kind of size. Mm -hmm. I think they were afraid to put him on you to get him in foul trouble, so I don't think you really had any respect in terms of that those guys could block your shot around the basket. Uh, uh, if a guy is not 6'10 with long arms, uh, I think I can score on him every time if they don't double me uh, because, I, you know, my height is a disadvantage sometimes when I'm posting up. Uh, but as long, there are very few players, Kevin McHale, Elton Campbell, uh, those kind of guys that really give me a uh, Harvey Grant. Uh, they really... Uh, um, will give me trouble, but these guys, they went small and big uh, and had big power players against me. I thought it was a real critical play, too. You stepped up and set a screen on Sprewell in the first half. Fourth foul really took him out of the game the rest of the way. Well, it was, it was a tough matchup this series. I think he didn't have a great series shooting because he's used so much energy guarding Kevin. Uh, so I think he got a little frustrated tonight. And uh, I set the pick, and he ran right through me. He got a good little forearm there, too. I like that. All right. Now, I, I said it started out Auburn, Alabama. There, you two guys going at each other. But I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to be a concern coach. I'm going to be Paul Westfall. You guys got into these shootouts against Golden State. Now, the next round, you know that it's not going to be like that. Are we going to uh, see some defense in the Suns that's going to be able to continue to get you to advance? Uh, I said before this series, the only thing that I feared was if we get in a series where we just try to outscore them. And I felt like that could happen because they, they don't really play great defense, and we really don't play great defense but I felt like if we had to play defense like we did in the fourth quarter that we could we could stop the team uh, but uh, this was really the only game that was a real shootout but our defense has to get better we are always going to score points but uh, if we don't improve our defense uh, we're not going to win the world championship and that's our goal are you really going to retire after that you look like you had some gas in the tank are you really going to retire Charles Doug I feel like this is my last year uh, it, it, it's been a struggle for me this year with all the injuries and things uh, but uh, I'm looking at this as my last shot at it. All right. Well, tremendous effort, and congratulations on a wonderful series. I know you're going to play golf for a couple days. Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> Shoot a 56 there, too. <laughs> <laughs> he will on the front nine. <laughs> congratulations to Charles Barkley. He's tonight's Budweiser player of the game, and Budweiser will donate $1,000.